Hello everyone. I was sir welcome you all to my channel and today I am going to show you how to fix sound not working on Windows 11. So there are 5 6 methods that you can try out to fix this issue. So method number 1 is just right click over the start button and click on the settings option. Now just go down and click on the troubleshoot option. Now just click on this other troubleshooters now for this playing audio just click on this run button so what this audio troubleshooter will do it will try and find the audio problem and fix it also so just select the speaker that you want to troubleshoot and click on the next button so just follow the instructions that are shown in this window and fix your issue so this was method number 1 if method number 1 didn't work for you then just try out method number 2 just click on the search button and in the search bar just type control panel yeah just click on the search result control panel and now just click on this hardware and sound now just click on sound so it will show you all the speakers or the audio devices that you have plugged in with this system so whatever audio device you want to use just make sure that it is set to default device and the way to set it to default device is just select the device and just right click over it and then just click on the option set default device right now it is not showing the set default device option because it is already set to default device you can also click on this button set default button so suppose if you want to use some external speaker then just select it and click on this set default button in case you want to use the system speakers then just select this high definition audio device or the real tech high definition audio device and then just click on the set default button so this was method number 2 if method number 2 didn't work for you then just try out method number 3 just select the audio device right click over it and click on the properties option now just click on the levels tab and just make sure that it is set to 100% and this audio icon should be like this only it should not be pause like this so it should be like this only you can change it by just clicking on it if it is set to pause in your system now just go to the enhancement tab and make sure that this option is selected disable all enhancement and now just check whether your issue is fixed or not if still the issue is not fixed then just go to the advanced tab and change the bit rate so if it is 16 bit 48000 then just change it to something else like 24 bit 44100 and then just click on the test button to test the sound So after doing changes in these tabs just click on the apply button and click on the okay button click on the apply button and click on the okay button so this was method number 3 if method number 3 didn't work for you then just try out method number 4 go to the start button right click over it and click on the option device manager now just expand this sound video and game controllers and now just click on this audio driver high definition audio device the name may be different in your system like it may be real tech high definition audio so just select it right click over it and click on the option update driver now just click on the first option search automatically for drivers so what it will do it will search the internet for the updated audio driver and it will show it here so what you have to do is just click on the install button to install it and then just click on the close button in my case it is showing that the best driver for your device are already installed so i will click on the close button and after this what you have to do is you have to restart your system 
and then just check whether your issue is resolved or not so this was method number 4 if method number 4 didn't work for you then just try out method number 5 again click on the high definition audio device right click over it and this time click on the option uninstall device now just click on the uninstall button and then just click on the yes button to restart the system after restarting your system it will automatically reinstall this audio driver that we have just now uninstalled and you don't have to do anything you just have to check whether your issue is resolved or not so i will click on this no button as i am doing the video recording now in case if the audio driver doesn't get installed automatically after restarting the system then what you can do is just come to this device manager click on any of these device first then go to the action menu and click on the option scan for hardware changes so it will automatically install the audio driver for you so this was method number 5 if method number 5 didn't work for you then just try out method number 6 click on the search button go to the search bar and type services click on the search result services and now in this list of services just search for windows audio so here it is windows audio just right click over this service and click on properties option now just change the startup type from manual to automatic and if the service status is stop in your system then just click on the start button to start the service after this just click on the apply button and click on the okay button after this just restart your system and check whether your issue is resolved or not now if this audio service was already running in your system then you can just click on this restart link to restart it and then just restart your system and check whether your issue is resolved or not so these were the six methods that you can try out to fix the issue sound not working on windows 11 so that's it from my side if you like my video you can click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching